Okay. Guys, let's talk about practicing the guitar today. Now, the guitar involves many different things when you think about playing the guitar. But typically what we can do is we can add those in to three different categories. Practicing the guitar is the foundation. That's where you have the redos and the do-overs and all that stuff. It's so important to be able to practice the guitar good. That's what we're going to look at today. But that's the very first part of playing the guitar. The second part is casual playing. When you think about that. You have casual playing, that's things that you've learned while you are practicing the guitar and now muscle memory's kicked in and you understand it and now you can just play along and sing with friends or whatever. That's the second part is casual playing. The third part being performing the guitar. This could be either in front of people or it could be in a recording studio or something like that. And a lot of times that's when the nerves kick in whenever you have to perform in front of people or you're actually being recorded while you're doing it. That's why a lot of people can play the guitar. Not a lot of people really like to record themselves playing the guitar. And even a fewer amount of people want people to listen to them play the guitar because their confidence level isn't where it should be, or so they think. Now today we're going to look at the foundation of it all. We're going to look at practicing and how important that is. Have you ever noticed that sometime your practicing can just become dull or just repetitive or it doesn't seem like you're advancing a lot or you're getting irritated or frustrated or whatever it may be okay we're going to look at a couple of important things here on how to address those so let's take a look the first thing is to practice for shorter amounts of time if you're practicing for a long period of time man it's going to get to you what you're going to do is you're going to practice over the time that your brain is really focusing in on the music and on the technique and that muscle memory you're trying to develop and what you're going to do is you're going to get bored and then you're actually going to develop bad habits we don't want bad habits at all we want to have short concise practice sessions i like to call it grazing okay a cow isn't going to go out and eat an entire meal immediately in one sitting as fast as it can it's not going to do that it can't do that so it grazes throughout the day that's how we want to practice the guitar we want to put little bits of information here and there. Don't flood your brain with all these techniques and you're working on it and it's just get, oh, you get so frustrated. And I know how that is because I used to be there. Finally, what I decided to do is skip all of that and start grazing instead. One of the important reasons to keep these practice sessions short, try saying that three times fast, is because you want to stay focused on what you're working on little burst, small little bite-sized practice times. My students, I've been teaching the guitar, the banjo, the ukulele for over 10 years now. And one thing I always tell them is practice in short burst. Five, no more than 10 minutes. Do it a couple of times a day if you can, and then put it up and don't worry about it anymore. If you take away the long practice sessions, then that'll reduce some of the stress and some of the bad habits that you'll probably develop along the way. Number two, do not practice whenever you are irritated or distracted. Yeah, bud? Can I have a cookie? Sure, you can have a cookie. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I understand if you come home from work and there, it's been a long day and you just want to blow off some steam, sit down, relax, play the guitar or whatever. I understand that. I'm talking about quality practice time when you're working on something like a tough song or a piece, and you really want to focus in on that technique. I'm a father. I've got kids running around all the time. And my goodness, I can tell you I'm distracted quite a bit. What I have to do is I have to wait for either nap time or at night after they've gone to bed, then I can sit down and play the guitar and practice on a piece that I'm working on then. When they're awake, I'll play the guitar and they'll sing along and we'll have a great time. But when it's me just working on the song that I want to work on, the difficult piece that I'm working on, I wait for a time where no one's around and I can really focus in on that. All right, let's take a look at number three. Here we go. You ready for this? This is mind blowing. Here we go. Practice right before bedtime. It's true. It's going to help. I'm telling you, inputting your brain with that information and with those mechanics will allow your brain to work on that while you sleep. 
If I'm working on a very tough part of a song that's giving me problems or whatever, I'll practice it right before I go to bed. One thing I'll do is, is I'll slow it way down. I'm talking about way down. Run through it five or six times to where I can play it perfectly, even if it's at a snail's pace. It has to be super duper slow. That's fine. What I've done is, is I have inputted the mechanics and I've inputted the understanding of that song into my brain. That's what I want to do. I want it to be like clockwork whenever I pick the guitar up to play the song the next day. And I'm telling you, at least this is for me and for many, many of my students. I have found that playing and practicing before bed, it does incredible, incredible things for your guitar playing, especially as you continue to do that. Practicing before bed is essential. A good two, three minute practice right before you go to bed, it's awesome. And I'm telling you, you're going to see results from that. Number four, practice for accuracy, not for speed. Speed will come eventually whenever you have muscle memory. But if you don't have the muscle memory, speed is just going to be artificial and it's really not going to sound natural at all with your guitar playing. We have to slow it down, learn the mechanics, memorize the song, and then the speed will come. So don't get frustrated with that. Practice for accuracy. The speed will naturally come. Don't practice for speed. It's pointless because then it's just artificial and it's going to sound choppy and it's not going to work out very well and it's going to make you frustrated in your guitar practicing. Five, try not to think about the guitar when you're not practicing. Just don't think about it. Let your brain do the work. You've inputted the mechanics, the song, the parts that you're working on that are difficult. Now let your brain work on those subconsciously. Your brain is practicing the guitar even whenever you are not. It's amazing how our minds work whenever we put information into them. It builds habits. We want to build good habits with the guitar, not bad habits with the guitar, and that is having good quality practice time. Input the information, input the mechanics, and allow your brain to turn that into muscle memory. Allow your brain to understand the song that it's working on. Number six, don't fret about guitar practice. That was a corny dad joke. Don't fret about it. Don't stress about it. Listen, it's so important that you stop stressing about practicing the guitar. The guitar is meant to be played and enjoyed. Don't get frustrated. Give yourself time. Give your brain a break. If you're working hard, if you're stressed out, work on those other things and then just go to the guitar and relax. Take small bite-sized chunks during practice. You don't have to learn an entire song first time you play it. Take it easy, relax, don't stress about it. Life happens, especially if you've got a job and you're a parent and you're busy, you've got responsibilities. Man, wouldn't it be easier to go back to the days when we didn't have any responsibility and we could just learn the guitar? Unfortunately, life is not like that. So what we have to do is we play the guitar for enjoyment and then we try not to stress about it. Don't stress, relax, and play the guitar. Well, that is it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found anything in this video that you agreed with, that you liked, or that you enjoyed, or that you said, hey, that can, I can apply that to my practice routine, anything like that at all, would you please hit like and subscribe? That allows me to continue making these type of videos. I would really, really appreciate that. Listen, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Keep practicing, keep playing, don't get discouraged. You guys are going to be just fine. Peace out. Hey guys, if at any time during this video you heard my kids screaming, scratching, biting, attacking each other in any way, making tons of crazy noises, I do apologize. They are crazy. But you know what? The quarantine sort of makes you go crazy a little bit whenever you're stuck at the house and you have paper thin walls so it's always worse. Hey, I appreciate you guys being patient with me. I will talk to you later. Peace out again.